The three primary nutrient cells used for energy production. The main product of glucose breakdown in the mitochondria for ATP production. Organs that can use both glucose and fatty acids for energy. An alternative energy source the brain can use during starvation. Type of fatty acids that require carnitine and CPT for mitochondrial entry. Easier to metabolize compared to long-chain fatty acids as they do not require carnitine or CPT to enter mitochondria. Fatty acids produced by the microbiome in the gut. Fatty acids produced by the microbiome in the gut can result in muscle weakness, seizures, and fat accumulation due to insufficient ATP production from fats, particularly in preterm babies or those with inherited disorders. Occurs during starvation when the body depletes glucose stores, breaks down fats, and produces ketone bodies. A dangerous condition resulting from excessive ketone production, where the blood becomes too acidic. Zellweger syndrome and X-linked adrenaleukodystrophy. Organelles that digest unwanted materials using enzymes in cellular degradation. Conditions like Gaucher's disease and Tay-Sachs disease where a deficiency in lysosomal enzymes leads to the accumulation of harmful substances in the body. Zellweger syndrome and X-linked adrenaleukodystrophy. Organelles that degrade misfolded or damaged proteins in cellular function. Associated with conditions like cystic fibrosis where the defective protein is degraded before it can function properly. A medication that can inhibit proteosome function to treat cancers like multiple myeloma. A source of medium chain fatty acids that can benefit conditions like epilepsy by rapidly producing ATP and ketones. A wasting syndrome where accelerated degradation of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins occurs often leading to fat gain without muscle recovery, affecting cancer patients differently from normal starvation. In conditions like anorexia nervosa, can lead to muscle wasting and potential organ failure due to the depletion of glucose, fat, and protein stores. Important to test for in infants with failure to thrive as they require specific testing and dietary adjustments to address the underlying metabolic issue. Important to test for in infants with failure to thrive, as they require specific testing and dietary adjustments to address the underlying metabolic issue.